Hello everyone, so here I have an ancient uh, Volvo car with, um, with a radio of uh, HU655 which after the battery change, now when you switch it on, it asks you for a code so well, if you know the code, it's easy you just enter it here like, let's assume your code is 1, 2 like three and uh, four and if our code is correct the radio will switch on but in our case the code was wrong and it show, showed us an error actually the radio will give you i think it's three attempts and then it goes into the block mode so now in this video we're going to show you how to kind of block the <laughs> block the radio then how to unblock unblock it in order to be able to enter the code again and then how to retrieve the code from the memory of of the radio if you don't know that the code like like i i don't know the code all right let's get started so as i said already the, the radio is going to let you to enter the wrong code just uh, several times let's try it again like we go four one one and uh, three and it shows us error again and now we have a last chance and we get it wrong obviously again so let's something like that boom it shows off now and now it's not going to let us to enter any code at all because every time you switch it on it shows us off so it's it went into this protective mode or anything so now uh, we need to get around that now I'm going to show you how to unblock the radio after after that so in order to unblock the radio you switch the radio off you enter AM, you press AM and hold it, and you switch the radio on. And you can see it jumped, it sh it's radio switched off, but it's in test mode and gives you around like just five minutes only in order to be able to perform some actions on the radio. So once we switch the radio on into the test mode, you switch it back off again, and now you press auto, hold the auto, switch it on, and continue holding auto. You don't release it for several seconds until you get into the menu now with a middle knob you go left until you see EEPROM you push the middle knob in order to enter there it takes a few seconds to get into the memory and now you are in a memory to navigate left and right inside the memory you use a rightmost knob with a middle knob you change the settings so if you you see the cursor blinking here and the two numbers on the left are going to show you the address in the memory so now we're on a on a on a memory cell zero zero if you start rotating the right knob you see the address changes so every memory cell has its own address you see the number changed so and obviously the state of radio like blocked or unblocked is stored in a memory as well so and it is stored in a memory address of f6 so let's go left and you can see it's fb already and now we are on f6 and as you can see it shows free free attempts was done already so and we want to change that so you put your cursor on, on, on at the address of f6 over the number three with a middle knob you change it to one and then you navigate to the right to find the exit and you exit and you go to test exit again you see from EEPROM you go to the right test exit boom you're out of there now you switch your radio off and you need to recycle the power in order to this uh, this action to take place so you unplug the green cable here and plug it back in and now when you switch the radio on it asks you for a code again all right but yeah so it's asked for a code again, but it's not much help because we still don't know the code. So we need to get the radio into the test state again. So you switch it off, you press AM, press switch it on, you get into the test mode, you switch it off. Again, you press auto and switch your radio on in order to get uh, into the menu. 
and you go back to the EEPROM. You press and hold to get the EEPROM. And now I'm going to show you the, where your code is actually located. So with a right knob, you navigate to almost same place where we were, where the setting of a state is stored, like zero one. And now your code is stored here at F0, F1, F2, and three, F, F3. Uh, yeah, so basically, that's uh, these four numbers starting from F0. Uh, it's two, in my case, it's two, one, one, five. So basically, memory cell of F0, F1, F2, and three, F3 gives you the code. So now we write it down two, one, one, five. That's in my case, in your case, it's going to be different. Now we know that one. Now we go out. Basically, you can switch your radio off completely. So now, and uh, once we got out after five minutes, or we just recycled our power, so uh, we got out of this uh, test test setting of the radio. You switch it on, and it asks for a menu uh, for a for a, for a code again. And as we noticed from a EEPROM, my in my case the code was two one one five. Let's enter it two one one and five and here we are radio is alive thank you very much for watching and have a nice day thanks